We've got some thunder, we've got some lightning, look at this sky, astonishing. It's going to be fun. Hi, welcome to the second in my Derbyshire Adventures photography vlogs. I'm at Peter's Stone. Look at this valley, isn't that wonderful? Now Peter's Stone is actually that rock that just protrudes out and I'll get a better angle of it from that direction. So in this video I want to do Peter's Head, sorry Peter's Stone, I keep calling it Peter's Head. I think that's a place isn't it near, near Newcastle? Try and get the shot of the, because it's glorious sunshine now that rain we've had this morning it's been driving me crazy um i'll get a shot with the valley i love that valley with the sun coming down and you've got the rocks up at the precipice up there um get a shot of the the rock from here and then go down the hill a little the footpath actually comes from way down there where the road is and you walk along <laughs> actually parked right there so actually I'm not going to drive all the way down there just to walk but what I'll do is walk down to where the, the rock face is see the rock face here stunning and get a shot of the of the stone Peter's stone from there but I think what I'll do is set up for the valley shot first see if I can get something amazing out of this let me set up just going to adjust that because it's not following me come on focus on me thank you <laughs> we have the technology. See, it's following me now. De -de -de. I'm over here. <laughs> Let's have a look here. It's a little like, and I'll have to give you the live view. It's a little like where I live in Folkestone, where you have the steps. So where the edges of the cliff eventually start eroding, not cliff, hill. They erode a little, then stop, then erode a little, then stop. So if I zoom in there, you can see, just make sure it's in focus, it looks like waveforms on an album cover. I seem to remember an album cover that's got waveforms like that. And I think that in itself is just an amazing shot. And then I could go landscape. A portrait and incorporate the footpath as a leading line up to that look at the crows flying around oh, we've got sunshine I'm staggered <laughs> whoa stay there camera live view off it's people walking through this calls for an image <laughs> okay so let's set up a couple of shots here and then we'll walk to the other end of that. It's just the glorious greens and everything. Sorry, my tripod's on the on the on the loose. So far, right, eighteen. I think we'll do a little pano here, first and foremost. Now I've got no filter on here. I'm on. Let's go aperture priority. Give it a, an F11. It wants a hundred and sixtieth of a second. That's shot one. Not not a vast difference. It's just that I don't have a twenty-four. 18 to, uh, 10 to 24 do I so I've got to work with my 18 did I just nudge the tripod as I was taking that picture you know hold the strap so it doesn't adjust it's quite windy so you want a high speed you don't want anything moving I should probably take vibration reduction off but that's nice two shot pano incorporating Peter's stone yeah, that's nice. I'll get one shot of Peter Stone here, then you can have both of those images while I go and walk down there. I like the shadows that it's giving me. Peter Stone. It's quite
quite bizarre as a geological form. Got some people walking up. So that puts it all into perspective, which I like, including a, a human element. Can I get right in there, see what they're up to? <laughs> yes, people actually climb up that. I can't zoom in on the DJI, but what I can do, if the wind is blowing now, crazy times. I can zoom in on the video footage once I do post-processing, but they're climbing up. Shall I wait for a second till they get to the top, then take a picture of them on the top? That will give me some nice dynamics. Have a look at these pictures while I quickly wait for them. Quickly wait, as long as it takes them to get up there. Oh, they're up, didn't take long. I could do live view because it gives me um, zoom capabilities. Let's zoom in, in. There they are, they've climbed to the top. I can't see it with my naked eye. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Wow, jolly brave souls. And I say that because let's draw it out. Can you see how high that is? That is high. Yeah, jolly saves, jolly brave souls. <laughs> My um, Nikon doesn't do too bad for videography, to be quite honest. Especially with the, it's it's just lacks gimbal. Good morning. It just lacks gimbal technology. The camera, leaving it focused and give them a wave, see if they can give me a wave. Yeah! <laughs> Someone gave me a wave. <laughs> Lovely stuff. <laughs> they're probably going, that guy's a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're waving. <laughs> I'm incorporating everybody in my video. Right, let's walk down there. Shall I take a shot of them? I should, shouldn't I? I've got it on video, but I should take a shot of them. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> I don't know if I pressed record. I've got record on this one and the audio, so um, you will have got that. I want to go down and have a look at Peter Stone from the front end, get it kind of face on. So I'm going to do that while you have a look at this picture of the lads and the lasses on the rock. Okay, we're going to do front on. I'm so glad I did this because it's, it's, I'm going to have to get a new um, tripod holder doesn't like sitting on here. It comes loose in the slightest second. DJI's running out of battery power. <laughs> I'll have to charge that in the car, ready for the next video. Sun's going in now, so I've got to be quick because it might rain again. But we're at this angle of the rock and we've got a tree and we've still got the people. Here comes the sun. Look at that. That looks like something from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I'm taking a picture while, I'm, while I've got the light, <laughs> while I'm doing a video for you. <laughs> Look at that coming out, so, oh yeah, that's so wonderful. I don't even know what that's called, but why is there a bit of rock propping itself up in the middle of nowhere? What a wonderful, wonderful thing with that angry sky in the background. Okay, take that off. I'm going to take a couple of shots of this, depending on the clouds, etc. And then get over to Monsell Head for the second part of this video before it starts raining. 
<laughs> we hope. Have a look at these pictures of Peter's stone. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> I could almost get my picnic and sit and look at it all day long. <laughs> pictures, Monsel Head. Would you look at that? We've got a storm front coming in. We've even had some lightning. Thunder and lightning. I'd better get a shift on and get some photo photography done, hadn't I? <laughs> a day in Derbyshire. How much can I cram in, weather permitting? Lovely sky, very dark though. I think we're here. We're nearly here. I'm gonna see if I can park so that we can see the um, Vahead Duck. There's parking on the left here. 150 spaces. Oh, look at the sun shining on that rock. That looks amazing. With that dark cloud in the background. I'm gonna park right here so that we can have a quick nosy at it. How about that? Doesn't that look majestic? Stunning. Monsel Head. Monsel Head was an old train viaduct. Um, I can't remember, and I'm not, <laughs> I'm not on my Tudor Travels videos here. I can't remember if it was serving um, two towns or if it was for a colliery or whatever it was. There's now a tunnel that goes underneath and you can you can kind of walk the whole trip or bicycles. Because the weather's changing and you've got all the clouds coming across the sky like that, you get all these washes of sunlight. That just looks wonderful. So I'm going to focus in on that stack of rocks. I've never noticed it before and in fact the sun's right on it now. So that's worth the shot. <laughs> Catch it while the sun's razor on it, right? The sun's shining on that. I've got my um, 18 to 270 lens here. I like that I can see the sun on the field at the bottom. So get the sun there, we've got the washes. There's a road going up into the hill. Let's set up for a few shots. How do we get to the tunnel? It's right on the bridge there. Like? So you've got two choices. Yeah. Down this road. Yeah. And then when you get to the farmhouse, you cross over the bridge. Yeah. And then when you get to the bridge, there's a path that goes up. Right. Or you follow the route down here. Yeah. I think there's, a, the, the path goes all the way along yeah. to the waterfall, but I think there's a cut through that drops down onto the bridge. So I can't remember no, no, if that's a good one. But yeah, because you could end up going that way and there isn't a path and you'd have to go all the way down there and come back. So either way, it's, it's a walk. But yeah, down here, turn left at that end of the thing, cross the bridge and then follow the path up. Once you're on the bridge, straight, yeah. It's actually just under here. Oh, right, okay. So you've not got does that far. Tunnel, do you just sort of loop round or does it just have to walk and then walk back? Yeah, you walk back. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's the old train line. So it goes oh, right, okay. that old train line heads off to Buxton, I think. Yeah. But there's an old mill at the end there. Right. 
which you can see, but if you walk up there, you come back. But the tunnel starts here and goes all the way under here, comes out somewhere near Ashford in, in the water. That's how Beautiful I remember there, it. Yeah, so yeah nice. stunning. I live in Kent, so oh, that's yeah. like, it's yeah, flat in yeah, Kent. Yeah, it's an old bit of kit, but it, it still takes nice pictures. Yeah. I'm trying to do my YouTube vlog, but you're not in it. You're, you're not in it, so I turned it. Uh, Tudor Smith photography. Oh, okay. That's me, so. Yeah. Now I'll give you a little subscribe thereafter. Yeah, go Tudor for it. Smith. Do you go around yeah. everywhere, do you? Well, mostly Kent, but yeah, if, I, if I'm out somewhere, then um, I'll take the camera and yeah. do it. Do you stay around here? Or? Um, Ripley. Right, okay. But only for a day. I, yeah. I go home tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spur of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. let's do something this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Out, yeah. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. I do. Take yeah. care. Yeah. Just had a chat with some lads. Maybe I'll get a subscribe. That's all good news. <laughs> so Monsell Head. So we've had, um, was it Peter's Head? Is that where it was? Peter's Stone. Can't remember. Um, and Monsell Head. So I think that concludes this video. I'm knocking them out. The weather's kind of, you know, it's, it's changing. When I was down at Chrome Hill in that other video, it was chucking it down. So I'm really taking it as I find it. If it's if it's going to be lovely, I'll be fortunate. If not, I'll still take some pictures and I'll knock out the odd video or two. <laughs> because I'm here for the day. So, you know, let's try and get them in as quickly as I can. And as, as many as I can before I lose interest and I just don't want to do it anymore. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. There'll be another one coming along shortly. I say shortly. Maybe I'll release them once a week. Then I've got five weeks of videos being released because we play the YouTube algorithm game, right? <laughs> so those lads that I was chatting with, I might have given the voiceover because I left the mic running. They're going to subscribe. Perhaps you would like to subscribe too. <laughs> I'd love to have a thousand subscribers on my channel. 416 at point of recording. Come on, hit the like, hit the subscribe. <laughs> it's free, apparently. Anyway, see you in another video.